if, you, if we said, for instance, <clears throat> uh, a fear of whatever, resistance or jealousy or rejection or something is coming, it's really, really strong. And these things are strong only when you become personal. Okay? It's as though the mind's work is successful, the psychological mind is successful if it gets you to become personal to identify personally. In fact, I am daring to say, all problems are person-based. I am going to say it like this. Okay? Because as soon as you become personal, you are diminishing your power as consciousness. You start to fight like a person. You see, you are not fighting with understanding, you, you, are, you are desperate. When you discover the isness field of yourself, it is not personal. So the person is easily perceived. If it arises, you can see ah, oh, it's nothing. And gradually it will not cause you to turn your head towards the person. It will just be like just some mosquito. You keep on, no? This is what will happen. So let's start at that because some people we have powerful emotions come and sometimes when they come up. You feel you just have to go cold turkey and just wait until they pass or something. But I want to tell you that here we make use of every experience. We need difficult and challenging experiences. We need the, the sweet and the bitter, especially the bitter you need it also, to develop spiritual muscle. You need it in order to test and to go more deeply into your being. If your all your experiences was all just light and fun and stuff, nobody would wake up. You'd be satisfied with your egoic existence. But because at some point it begins to crash, your dreams are crashing, your projections are not working, and you feel really depressed. But this depression is for the person, not for the isness. And sometimes, out of these states of very heavy feeling, you know, you are compelled to find your way out, and the way out is the way in, because you have to uh, find that space. You have to find that space. With the invitation, it becomes very easy. But if those states catch hold of your attention, the isness will feel remote. It will just feel like it's remote. And if somebody says, you know, but what about the isness? You'll feel very annoyed. Because now you're gripped by your own projections, you're struggling, and that's your reality at the moment. All this will fade gradually as you stay and somehow, you know, confirm your isness place. But I want to show you a little bit when those emotions or bad feelings come inside, when they come, like say, if we use one, say like, uh, you know, rejection. You see, so this feeling of rejection, and it's so loud, energetically, it's present inside the body, and you know, it's like uh, these feelings are happening, and you're feeling that somehow you're o you're just overwhelmed by the feeling. Then, first of all. Don't try to stop it. The reflex is to try and stop it, or to create some distraction for yourself, so that you can, you know, phone a friend or something, or have an ice cream to try and get out of that mind state. But I'm saying now I'm going to show you how to use it, because in these situations they are very, very. Although they are very strong, experientially and emotionally, they are full of spiritual vitamins on the other side of them, and I want to show you how, because when they come, it is a chance to recognise who you truly are, and to break that spell. So let us say that the emotion comes and is a strong feeling of revenge, or let us say now, let us say the fear of rejection, and it is feeling in the body, and, and then also what is happening is the mind starts to create interpretations of the feeling. And that's when it gets even. It's on steroids now, because once the mind gets hold of it, it's like you know, yeah, and it starts to gather evidence, and the ego loves evidence. 
you start to remember things that no human being should be remembering you know, like this. and the ha and all negativity and you don't get it that the state is trying to increase itself so how to do it so first let him be there if you don't try to fight then you your powers to observe will increase you understand if you fight you're in you're blocked in so you're in and you're not able to observe you're too identified so you simply let the feeling go they're there and just allow it to manifest in the body it's manifesting and just by not fighting you come to see that you are experiencing sensations you're experiencing something that is visiting the body and at some point it will leave you know that but while it's there you're not trying to push it the natural instinct is to try and get rid of it but you have been shown just let it be there first you know and then in your own time put this question like you know so what is the message inside the feeling try and understand what is it saying and if you want you can write it down it's saying that you know nobody appreciates you that hurts all good and it's not the first time that you have noticed them <laughs> so you write them down and even your mom Put it all down. Does it right? Uh, okay, okay. You put it down. You have understood what the message is. No. Now you find out who is it impacting upon. Who is suffering it? Okay. Now the reflex answer. It's me. Why bother go through all of this of finding out? It's me. But no, we have to go more. Identify precisely. Is the one who is suffering it? Can it be tangibly recognized? Okay, can it be identified? Okay, still big tsunami. Can you do this? Yes, you can. Okay, just let it happen. Don't waste energy trying to fight. You are just looking, and that's different. Now find out. Can it be identified? The sufferer here. The suffering we know, the feeling, oh, but let the feeling identify the sufferer of it. So you must do this. Don't say, I know the answer. That does not work. You must experience the answer. Okay? So you say, Can they feel that? And this resistance is like resistance, like. I don't have time to try and look into who is suffering, but that's also another thought you are observing, no? So just see if it can be identified. Don't be in a hurry. You can do this also. The feeling is there. The waves, waves of mind attack, emotional. Oh. But there is a seeing that's present, a capacity to look. Can the sufferer be found? Some intelligence inside you begin to scan to see if it can find or identify the suffering entity. Because if there is identity, it implies an I entity. Can the entity be found? So don't imagine, just look. Use the the emotions, oh, something wants to say, I, I can't bear this. Who, who is speaking? Who is speaking that? Can it be found? You see? And as you look and keep the looking going, even in, even in the face of the screaming apparent one, at some point, if you keep it up, something will either do like this, like suddenly it seems to vanish. Don't start to celebrate just yet. Okay? 
because something wants to go, oh God, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Like, oh, no, 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 no. no, just stay where you are and invite it back. Okay? Invite him back. Where are you gone? Come, come back. Th- throw the punch again, throw the punch. I'm ready. Come on, come, where are you? And it may just send you a little email saying, Not when you're ready. Okay? When I am ready. Okay? Or whatever. Okay? Or as you keep on, just keep being present. You're not on the attack, you're just firm in the place of the weakness. Your your intellect, your intelligence is still alive. The feeling is in the body. Don't put so much meaning to that. The body is made to to take such feelings. It can take them. If it can take uh, whatever else, it can take this feeling. Okay? It will pass. Look. But your intelligence begins to scan, to try and find, identify. There is suffering, there must be a sufferer. Just do the looking. Don't create a sufferer, just see if it can be found. And the mind, in the role of the assailant, of the one who is, who is beating you, cannot keep up its power under the scrutiny of your observation. And it will either collapse like this, and you feel spaciousness again, or as you keep looking, this happens like that's another way he leaves. His power leaves. Don't start opening up the champagne just yet. Just keep looking, stay with it. Don't be from now the sufferer to the celebrator, okay? Don't identify with anything. Just stay empty and just keep looking present. And just say to the mind or to this power, any time you like, I'll be here. Okay? Don't be thankful to the mind. Oh, thank you, mind. Thank you. No, don't be don't bend your knees to the mind in this mode of mind. You are here to transcend its, its influence and its seeming authority by discovering the natural authority of the Self. So this is a practical way like this. If you can go directly to the isness, better, better then you don't even have to do any inquiry just yet. Maybe save your inquiry for a really important moment, or whatever. If you can come, if you, as soon as you get accustomed to the space of the isness, at some point it will not require memory anymore. It will not require any practice. It will be your natural climate, Whatever happens, like I gave example before, is like if you caught the flu for three weeks or something like that, then whatever you do in that three weeks is happening in the flu state, isn't it? Whether you're having a shower, you're on the phone, you're sending an email, you're at the supermarket, you're on the toilet, whatever it is, it's still in the flu state. The flu state is all pervading almost. In the same way, Everything that arises in you, every action that takes place, even the functioning of perception, is taking place in the isness. You understand that, isn't it? And it becomes so natural for you. Don't talk about it with anybody, not yet. Just be loyal to it. It is not personal. It is much greater than any person. You see? You are going back into your original state, and it is a delightful homecoming. 
it is a, a tremendously empowering rediscovering. You see? So just keep staying with it. Now and again the mind will come. Something may happen, which may just be any ordinary thing, but the mind will claim it or something. Or you will think, oh, it's my mind again. And sometimes you are making up the mind. Sometimes the mind has got nothing to do with it. You say, oh, my mind is in my mind. Ah, did you call? Okay, yeah, whatever, you know. So just, you will also get used to not keep saying, oh, my mind, my mind, my mind. You don't have a mind. It's just like, you have the air, universal air, you breathe it in, you say, my breath. Oh, where is it? Where is your breath? Can you find it again? You cannot find it. So it is just habit, it is just culture, human culture, the way that language works, the way that duality works. It is simple like that. So all this is going to start to become much, much lighter. Because the most heavy experience you can have in life is to experience life as a person. Yes. You see? Yes. And I feel the world, the human kingdom, is suffering from person poison. Too much person, personality, you, me, this, I don't like them, I don't like that. <laughs> the isness is not like that. From the isness is universal love. It makes no distinction. Uh, oh, you are not like this, I like you. It has no type. Just like the sky has no favorite clouds, the isness has no favorite way, favorite thoughts, favorite way to be. It makes everything divine. Okay?